Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my best friend got a new best friend. Bye mom! Whoa, 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 where is the fire? Where are you going? Sorry mom, no time to chat. It's the first day of school. And I want to make sure I get there early so Sky and I can compare our schedules. Well, hold on. Do you at least have a moment to eat breakfast? You need some fuel for your first day? No can do. Sky is going to be waiting for me. Mackenzie, sit down and eat some breakfast before you go. You can't have a productive day on an empty stomach. Ugh, fine. Jeez, I have never seen you in such a rush before, especially to get to school. Now, most teenagers usually have a list of excuses as to why they're late on the first day. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm not like most teenagers, though. I cannot wait for a new school year. I mean, think about how many new memories Sky and I are going to make together. That's why I'm so eager to get there and get started. We're getting older, and we're not handed our schedules on the first day of school. It's more sophisticated that way. Oh, you want to make sure you and Sky are in the same classes. Of course we're going to be in the same classes. Why wouldn't we be in the same classes? We're best friends. Sorry, sorry. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I was just asking. I don't know how it works. Wow, okay. Now I'm even more freaked out than before. Thanks for breakfast, Mom, but I really need to get to school and find Sky. A few moments later. Here you are, girly. I thought we were going to walk in together. Sorry I'm late. My mom wanted me to stay and eat breakfast. Ugh, the nerve on her. Doesn't she know you have to be here right on time to get your schedule? Obviously not. Speaking of schedules, have you heard yet? Heard what? Sky? I'm just kidding. I already checked, and we should be getting our schedules any minute now. I made sure we put down all the same classes and all the same electives. So we're basically not apart at all throughout the entire day. What are you going to do next, Sky? Coordinate our bathroom breaks? Why? Do you want me to? Because I will. You don't have to ask me twice. You're crazy, but I love you. Meanwhile. Well, at least our lockers are near each other. That's a good sign, at least. Early, I don't know why you're wigging out. So I don't know why we wouldn't be together this year. Stop stressing yourself out. Ugh, I know. It's just my mom. She put it in my head that maybe we might not be in the same classes with each other this year. And ever since that thought entered my brain, it hasn't been able to find a way out. Well, kick it to the exit, because there is no room for that negativity. We haven't been separated since, like, kindergarten. I hardly think they're going to start now. I mean, like, come on. I don't know. We are getting older. And what? Mean. I don't know. I guess that's one of the irrational fears that a lot of people have, though, right? The fear of being separated from their best friend at school. I mean, it's gotta be one of the things that keeps kids up all night. Not just us, right? It's daunting to think about. Of course it is. That's why I choose not to think about it. Oh, oh, it's our schedules! Girly, it's our schedules! Okay, okay, this is good so far. Ooh, I've got a good lunch period. I've got lunch after third. What about you? I have lunch after second! Wait, what? No, that can't be right. No, 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 this can't be right. This has got to be like a mistake. You have a different lunch than me. Your electives are different than mine. <gasps> We're in different home rooms. Wait, I think I see something promising. We do have something together. Yeah, big whoop. It's P.E. Guy, we're separated through every part of the day. That has to be a mistake. There's no way that's right, girly. So let's just calm down. Calm down? You calm down. You're right, though. Th this has got to be a mistake. So I'm going to do the only logical thing here is go to the principal's office and demand to know what happened. That's it. You tell him, girly. A few moments later. Come on in. Mrs. Principal Lady, ma'am. Ah, yes, Mackenzie. How can I help you? I hope you had a great summer. Um, I did, but I have a question about the schedule. I think something is very wrong with it. Oh, no! What's the matter? I'll see if I can fix it. Well, you see, I don't have any of the same classes with my best friend, Scott. So I figured something terrible must have happened to cause such a grave error. And I'm sure that the school will go great lengths to right its wrongs. I really have faith in you guys. I see. So this isn't an error with the actual schedule, but more of a preference? Oh, no, 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 no. It's with the actual schedule. You see, being in the class with my best friend helps me achieve my full potential. And if Sky is not in the class with me, then it affects my schoolwork. She's like an emotional support human. Ah, I see. Well, as convincing as that argument is, I'm afraid there is nothing actually wrong with your schedule. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't follow. Mackenzie, I know this is hard to hear, but splitting you and Sky up wasn't actually a mistake. This was done on purpose? You. I thought this school had my back, but this entire time you're trying to separate me from my best friend? How could you? I thought you were on my side. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, of course we're on your side. You may not see this now. You may not see this for many, many more years. But we actually did this because we have your back. I don't follow. I know everyone likes to be in class with their best friend. Well, yeah. 
Duh. But in reality, sometimes it's the best thing for you guys to be separated for your own growth. But let me finish. I know you want to be together, but when you're together, you also aren't opening yourselves up to the possibility of meeting other kids and making new friends. But I don't want new friends. I want Sky. Well, you'll always have Sky, but it's like the song goes. Make new friends and keep the old. Part of school is getting new experiences and going outside your comfort zone. You might not think so now, but I think being separated is gonna do wonders for you two. Well, I think not. Meanwhile... So, what's the verdict? Lay it on me, girly. I can take it. Oh, I don't think you can. Wait, that bad? Well, it's not good. You won't believe it, Sky, but they double-crossed us. Wait, what do you mean? What I mean is this wasn't a mistake. They meant to split us up and have us in different classes. Some baloney about having us grow up. I am so not buying it. So, well, what are we supposed to do? We can't just go to class now. Well, I don't think we have much of a choice unless we protest and walk out of school. And that will only come back when our demands are met and that we're in the same classes together. Yeah, I don't think going on strike is going to change anything. I think we just have to face it and go to our own classes. But I don't want to. I don't want to either, but I don't think we have a choice. Well, look at it this way. At least now, at the end of the day, we'll have something to tell each other because we wouldn't have been together all day. That's not the silver lining I was hoping for, but it looks like we don't have any other options. All right, well, uh, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later. Yeah, I hope you have a good day too. I'll see you around, Sky. Many hours later. <laughs> cannot believe I talked the guidance counselor into letting me switch my lunch period. All because I said I couldn't wait to third period to eat my lunch or my blood sugar would drop too low. What a brilliant excuse. I don't know why I didn't think of that one earlier. Just wait until Sky finds out that we have the same lunch now. Surprise! Oh, uh, hey, Carly. Uh, what are you doing here? I got my lunch switched so we could eat together. I wanted to surprise you. Oh, yeah. That's great. You can join us. Um, uh, who is this? Oh, duh. Where's my man? It's Mackenzie. This is Jess. Jess, this is Mackenzie. Hey, Jess. Hey, Jess is in my new homeroom, and gosh, she is so cool. Did you know that our family has a boat? Anyways, the teacher let us move our desks next to each other, so now we're paired together on all our homework projects. Oh, cool. And what's even better is our schedules are, like, perfectly lined up. So now we have the same electives, too. Yeah, Jess and I were talking about maybe joining cheer this year as well. You know, as, like, an extracurricular. Oh, I, uh, thought we were gonna do soccer. Yeah, well, there's no rules that say I can't do both. Right, I guess not. Oh, and Sky, don't forget, we're gonna study later at my house for Thursday. Oh, totally, of course, I wouldn't forget. What's Thursday? It's our first quiz of the year. Technically a pop quiz, but the teacher was nice enough to give us a little bit of a warning. So technically not a pop quiz, then. Sky, I thought you promised we would get some ice cream after school. Oh, shoot, I totally forgot. Uh, rain check, girly? This is just for school. Yeah, of course. No worries. You know, I don't really mean to bail, but I think I forgot something downstairs. Later that same evening. It's a girl's world! Yeah! <laughs> Mackenzie, what? what's wrong? What are you doing home? Mom, are you singing while you're vacuuming? Hey, I don't ask you what you're doing in school for eight hours, so you don't have to know every little thing I do. Now, are you going to tell me what you're doing here in the middle of the day? And better yet, why you're so upset? It's everything. Sky and I were separated, and I thought this was going to be like the end of the world. But Sky, she's just fine with it. She now has a new best friend. Oh, come on. I doubt it's as dramatic as you're making it sound. Oh, I don't think I'm making it sound dramatic enough. You should have seen them at lunch. It's as if she didn't even care that I was there. She doesn't need me anymore, Mom. I don't know if that's it, or maybe she's just making the best out of the situation. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Maybe she's just doing what she has to do to get through it. No, when life gives you lemons, you throw them at the teacher until they let you be in the class with your best friend. Mackenzie, I know that you know that that's not true, and you're not gonna like what I'm about to say. Good, then don't say it. We also both know that I'm still gonna say it. You can't expect Sky not to make other friends. In fact, it's a good thing for both of you to have other friends. You'll always come back to each other because that's what best friends do. But it's also good to spread your wings and make new friends. It doesn't mean that your old friends are less special. You're right. I don't really like it. Well, tough. You better get back to school before I decide to walk you back there myself. Moments later. Hey, uh, is this seat taken right here? Uh, no, not at all. I'm Riley, by the way. I just moved to Brookhaven. Oh, hi, Riley. I'm Mackenzie. Wow, I really love your pink outfit. It reminds me of Barbie. Did you see the new movie? See it? I practically lived it. It's my 
one your favorite? Mine too. Hey, my mom gave me some movie tickets for my birthday. Would you want to go see it again in the theaters with me? Oh my gosh, I would love to. Hey, maybe we can hang out at my house after two. Great, I'd love that. Later that same evening. Oh, hey there, stranger. Hey there, it's Sky, right? Yeah, it's been so long. I'm blanking on your name. Something with an M, I think. Funny. So, where's Jess? I don't know. Around? You don't have to be jealous, girly. Hey, who said I was jealous? Yes, maybe cool and all, but she'll never be you. I can hang out with other people and always remember who my number one is. Aw, thanks, guy. I feel the same way. Jess actually bailed for tonight. Do you still want to hang out? Actually, I have plans with a friend, but how about tomorrow after school? It's a date, girly. Wow, maybe the school did know what they were doing. <laughs>